Hi there, it's quite common in multiple choice questions for the new AS and also perhaps as the early part of data response questions for the examiners to throw you some GDP data or some per capita income data and maybe even some population figures and ask you to make a quick calculation. So let's, uh, let's take an example of that. So here's some data for the UK from 2011 through to 2015. Um, we have two sets of data. The first one is the estimated resident population, mid-year estimate, in thousands. So the population has grown from 63.3 million approximately in 2011 through to just over 65 million in 2015. And we've also got a second column of data showing GDP per head, GDP per capita, at constant prices. In other words, it's been inflation adjusted, measured in pounds, and that's risen from £26,000 per year to just over £27,500. And here's the simple question using the data. What can we infer about the change in UK GDP over the period from 2011 to 2015? So you'll have to get your calcula calculator out for this one. Let's have a look. So GDP, of course, is GDP per capita multiplied by the total population. So if we take 2011, that will be 26,006 multiplied by the population, 63.285. Gives a figure of 1.65 trillion. A trillion, of course, is a thousand billion. By 2015, GDP had risen. Both the population was bigger and per capita incomes were bigger. Not massively so, but the population had grown more. And as a result, the total value of UK GDP rose to 1.79 trillion. That's fine. You've, you've inferred that there's been a change in GDP brought about by higher per capita incomes and quite a sizable increase in population. Of course, in the exam, you just want to, just want to nail this to so get the calculator out and work out that change as a percentage change. It's gone up by 8.5%. 14 is the change divided by 1.65. 8.5% over the four-year period from 2011 through to 2015. Okay, that's a little question on GDP per capita and GDP.